Five o'clock, a grand money to help the city change its approach to evictions and families are in favor. It's definitely needed. I mean, we're a very large growing city. It's going to happen all the time. You're growing pains, you're going to suffer through these things. The money won't be paying for rent, but it will do three things to help people figure out their next steps. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. Every day, hundreds of families in Houston and Harris County face eviction and are left trying to figure out their next step. Two Harris County courts say grant money will provide two full-time positions to improve the process. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner is working on this story. She joins us live at an apartment complex off the Gulf Freeway on Houston's southeast side. Rochelle? And we chose this location for our live shot because just last month, over 100 residents at the Cabo St. Lucas apartments were facing eviction. Now we spoke to one man who says this initiative will be very helpful for low income families. The judges we spoke to say it will also help residents and landlords. A new horizon is approaching when it comes to the eviction process for cases of justice of the peace precinct one place two and justice of the peace for precinct two place two thanks to a grant. Here's how it will work. Starting next month, the court will hire two people that will focus on collecting data and creating strategies to help reduce the harm of eviction. They will start reaching out to nonprofit organizations, coalitions, and Catholic charities about how they can help families facing eviction. They will also help landlords understand the process when it comes to filing a lawsuit. This is a really great opportunity to look at the data and really see our constituent experience, what they're going through, what they need. In Harris County just this year, data shows there's been close to 60,000 evictions filed in justice courts. I think uh, Houston has one of the highest um, eviction rates in the country right now. Paul Dijeron thinks the initiative will be beneficial. Just last month, over 100 people were facing eviction at the Cabo St. Lucas apartments. He hopes the new workers will connect residents with resources about organizations that help with finding new housing if they are evicted. It's not just single individuals that live here. You're talking about whole families with three or four children, pets and so forth. That's not an easy thing to find a place that's going to be available or be available right away. The judges say the process won't happen overnight, but they are grateful to get the ball rolling. Maybe there's something going on at home and you need a job or maybe you need child care. Every step of the way, we're going to reconsider how we can improve the process within the bounds of Texas. And Judge Steve Dubel and Judge Dolores Lozano were the only two courts in the state of Texas who received this grant. They tell me that the facilitators will start working next month and they hope to have a better understanding of this initiative through all of the data that the workers will collect over the next two years. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.